Buongiorno a tutti, bentornati al Laboratorio di Pratiche Sociali. Eh, siamo all'ultimo appuntamento delle, di queste due settimane che sono state molto intense e ricche di, di spunti interessanti. Oggi parliamo di arte come sistema sociale e lo facciamo con Claudia Eppeldauer e Martina Röter che sono parte del collettivo eh, Voke in Clausura, un collettivo nato nel 1993 a, a Vienna. E nella, durante la mattinata faremo un'indagine un, un rispetto a tutti i progetti che, ad alcuni dei progetti che sono stati realizzati appunto da Voke in Clausura negli ultimi anni e nel pomeriggio avremo un momento di attività pratica e laboratoriale guidato da, appunto da Claudia e Martina. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Vessel, for, for inviting us, for giving us a chance to be here in Paris for the second time. It's really wonderful and it's really great to uh, work with you and we are um, really honored uh, by your invitation. Thank you so much. Um, we thought we start with a little introduction into a uh, Wochenklausur, if this is okay with you. Um, I will just uh, talk about the start, the beginning, a uh, little bit to, to make you uh, familiar with what is Wochenklausur and uh, what is uh, the way we are working and why we do uh, think that it's art what we do. Or we don't only think, we are convinced. <laughs> so um, actually this is the 20th uh, anniversary of Wochenklausur. We, uh, this is, uh, we were started, we were founded, our group were founded in 1993. Uh, and it um, happened um, like this, Wolfgang Zingl, who is the founder of the group, uh, he was an uh, art critic uh, in the early 90s, uh, not only an artist, but also worked as an art critic. Um, and uh, yeah, as art critic, he was kind of harshly <laughs> criticizing uh, the ongoing exhibitions and also one exhibition which uh, was called The Young Artists in Vienna at a, a contemporary art gallery secession. You see it, uh, this is uh, the, the, the secession. It's a, yeah, kind of, uh, sorry? Okay. Um, it's an art association uh, and they do uh, regularly uh, contemporary art exhibitions. And uh, again, he was criticizing uh, this um, exhibition. Uh, and then the director said, okay, if you think you can do it better, we leave you the space for, a, for the duration of a usual exhibition and just do it better. Because he was mostly talking about or criticizing a cult as kind of a socially engaged art, which is more or less aestheticizing uh, problems like beautiful black white uh, pictures or images of homeless people and so on and um, yeah so he took the chance invited eight artists um, to use with him the space the exhibition space and to think about doing something um, referring maybe to the Russian constructivists or to Joseph Beuys which are we are always requiring that art and the real life should be really more connected <laughs> and back in those days um, uh, in front of uh, the secession of this uh, art gallery ah Okay, sorry. sorry I mean, I talk, uh, continue talking. Uh, yeah, uh, in, in, in front of this art gallery uh, in Vienna. Hi. Ciao. Hey. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, but you know the story already. It's just the introduction to Wochenklausur. <laughs> um, 
yeah so uh it was was a meeting point for homeless uh, one of the meeting points in the city for homeless people and it was really soon clear that uh, we the group we want to deal with this issue and uh, we started uh, to uh, talk with the people with the homeless with the institutions and the organizations who were involved into this uh, uh, issue and there's a topic of homeless and uh, just we are asking we have 11 weeks time uh, what what can we do for you with you within this uh, time span what do you think uh, we can manage and it was soon clear that there was no um, lack of shelters they had enough uh, food pantries uh, there were enough uh, things where you can uh, get your clothing but was uh, what was really a big big problem was the, was the access to medical care so even if uh, physicians and the hospitals have to um, treat everyone who will come in reality they didn't and it's also been a, a huge huge uh, bureaucratical do you say bureaucratical um, steps they had to uh, go through to get uh, to the doctors and this is not really easy living on the street and and uh, yeah falling out of all the systems so <coughs> it was then our idea to say okay if it's uh, uh, so hard for them uh, to get to the doctors we will um, install something where the doctor will uh, go to their meeting uh, places for for really the, the first treatments and uh, yeah it was clear then that we want to install a mobile uh, doctor's surgery or kind of mobile uh, clinic and we, we really really started and also um we are th always thinking of of using the um, the capital of the art institution because this uh, this gallery is quite well known in uh, in Austria as one of the most well known contemporary uh, spaces and so we can really use it as a tool saying we were invited by the secession it's really kind of a door opener and also um, that we as artists uh, come from out Side the social system, which makes it much more easier for us to uh, achieve uh, things. It's much more easier for those who, like social workers, who are working in the system because they have to uh, fulfill all the steps, the hierarchy. You know, you have to apply here and to go there and to wait if you get the uh, to getting this, and so it's it's really hard for them to get things um, done. make this passage easier yeah I remember uh, this uh, yeah um, yeah uh, this work you've done but I, i'm really curious because i was trying to i was inviting people and i was trying to explain yeah. this kind of process i really yeah. would like to know uh, better in details like yeah. the process behind yeah. this yeah if you can, of course. yeah 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 for sure for sure Just uh, easy, uh, i would like to analyze steps by steps yeah. in a way of course yeah 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 so for this first project this was it was about uh nine people uh it was really the i think the biggest group we, uh, we ever uh, worked with nine 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 artists and uh two were still art students yeah um and we had the time span of 11 weeks we could use the exhibition place and we uh, refurbished this like a, as, a, as an office uh from where we operate and organized uh the thing and also we we uh, of course had first to had to talk about what we want to, to do, uh, which kind of project, who is good in organizing what. So it, it needs always a little bit of time to uh, get the group also settled and also to um, um, conceive, is concipient? No? conceive uh, the or to make the concept of a project of a, we always have to have in mind uh, that it can't be a really huge project so we can't never ever solve kind of the uh, problem of homeless uh, but we can always want to try to improve the situation um, within our possibilities and these are really a lot of talk needs a lot of talking and of course uh, there are some fights within the group not bad fights but of course there are different views of how get to the result and how get the things uh, solved 
but always what's really make it easier is uh, w uh, when we uh, um, get in contact with the authorities, for example, or with the politicians. Uh, and if you say you are an artist, it's kind of, oh, they don't want to, everything is nice. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If you would say we are so, uh, social workers and we want to have this, so go back to your uh, department and then make step by step uh, and so, yeah, the take the official way, yeah. Before you develop this project, uh, did you think that this position, uh, did you already know that things were going to be easier yeah. uh, using this position? Yeah. So you were yeah. focusing on this uh, yeah. kind of yeah. uh, request structure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I we. Where were they from? from uh, yeah. Sorry? The, the homeless, you were. Yeah, sorry, they, were, were they were from the. Uh, yeah. I mean it was, we, ca we came to the idea because it was a, a meeting point in front of this gallery, and this was the, the initial thing why we thought we will work with and for them. This, is, uh, this should be our topic now because it's so obvious, yeah. Um, and it it also like uh, the problem came to us yeah and uh, i mean the 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 meeting point is not there anymore it uh, changed okay. there are many yeah. different yeah. meetings but the one it changed because uh, the 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 there was a kind of how do you say it, development uh, for the subway and so um yeah, we, we, we had that, that in mind, that, uh, but it was not kind of we have invented that uh, because there were so many references to other art groups like the like artist placement uh, group from England or the f Russian constructivists. I mean, they didn't work in this way, but they, they, they gave the idea to connect that much more, even uh, the Joseph Boyce who said everyone is an artist and so s in reference to many something uh, completely uh, new no yeah. we see we see us a kind of um you know uh, uh, continuing okay like like um, maybe the, the the abstract painters are continuing uh, uh it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so yeah and we we of course had that in mind that we have to use this tool yeah, and it's given, and we always thought if it's given, and, and it, if it's uh, this makes it easier for the art, why why don't use it? Uh, There's uh, this kind of reaching things easier, and 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 um, I mean I came later to the how we had to defend this as art uh, and uh, go on with the project. So of course there was uh, a lot of uh, usual organizational work like we had to we, we needed money for the bus uh, we needed sponsors we need uh, we needed the uh, physician or the doctors to be paid uh, regularly and which is in the bus in the mobile clinic ah, okay. yeah um which is working to treat the homeless uh, medically um and so it was clear that uh, the bus, for example, we will get uh, over for, for through sponsoring and uh, promising then, okay, you can have your logo on the bus uh, if you sponsor. And it, that was quite, quite, I mean, it was a lot of work, uh, but it was uh, compared to how to get the doctors paid, it was quite easy, yeah? because it was really clear there is a... Um, 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 what, which department was it? The healthcare department, welfare department uh, of Vienna, of the city of Vienna, and it is clear that it's they have to pay because it's in their responsibility. It should not be paid privately, uh, but by the public. And this was really uh, a hard thing to convince the councillor in uh, uh, responsible for 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 the uh, health in Vienna to, to convince her. She, she wasn't really convinced and it was kind of getting to the end of the project and the 11th week get clo got closer and closer and, and then we thought, okay, we are artists, uh, we, we are allowed to do things, others are not allowed and uh, let's use a strategy like others uh, use uh i don't know color uh and 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 uh stone or video for for getting their results and we use kind of strategies or like uh, actors using uh kind of fake stories and we ask, asked an um a journalist uh, from a from a well-known german magazine which is called the spiegel 
uh, just to do an interview with the counselor because if she uh, had to had to um defend herself in the public why she's not paying uh, this is another thing and he said yeah i'm not interested in in reporting about a project which is not finished and then we said okay then just pretend to do an interview with her I'll call her and say i am so interested there is a nice project uh, and uh, yeah, so he did, and uh, of course she didn't want to get uh, known in the public of the one who who is uh, thought of uh, stopping a project. And then, uh, really, in the very next day, uh, she agreed to pay for the, the salary uh, of the doctor. So, so the article never was published, of course, because it was a fake uh, interview. But um, I mean, she was feeling that what uh, you were requesting was under the attention of different yeah. Uh, yeah. social figure. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's good to, to have this. Yeah, I mean, she was, she was, uh, 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 she was not really convinced by the project, but she didn't want uh, to uh, be blamed uh, through an article, a published article, as, as the one who is uh, um, blocking or, or stopping a project. She, want, she didn't want to be the bad one in the public. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she said, okay, yeah, I, I will pay for the doctor. Wanted and to use it as wanted to use it as publicity for herself, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so yeah, I mean, it was really a lot of work, but then at least we got and and we got uh, a relief organization, uh, Caritas. I think you know it. It's a uh, 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 Catholic <laughs> relief, a big uh, organization, who uh, will maintain the bus, who agreed to maintain the bus and uh, care for the driver. Um, and the city who will uh, said she will uh, it will pay for the uh, doctors and so this is uh, running s then since 20 years. It's meanwhile it's the third bus, the bigger one, um, and they treat about uh, nine. They have nine thousand treatments a year, and yeah, so it's really it's really running. But it was really it was. Uh, w um you, uh, we we have to really kind of really really intense work. So once uh, the artists uh, we ask to work with us on a project, uh, they have really to work within these weeks only on this project. So uh, they are not allowed then to uh, say I have to finish my video or my my uh, painting or or whatever. This is also the name is about. It means weeks in closure, Wochen In closure, this means it's only this one. You are not to <laughs> allowed to do anything else. You have to stop for this. And if they agree, then uh, it's perfect because it's really uh, working, working, working without no w weekends. It's mostly uh, of most of the work is about talking and convincing people. First, of course, talk with the people you want to work with or for. It's it's sometimes it's only for, sometimes it's with uh, the target group, and of course with the organizations you have always have to in have in mind. How do you want to use the media? Is it is it good for the project to go public and have the media from the very first moment on board and they report, or is this contraproductive? This could also be that it's better not to have it public only at the end. Or so, so you have always to think this in a strategy, strategical, strategically way. <laughs> Process uh, yeah. and the uh, structure. You are invited, yeah. and they pay. They yeah, pay yeah, for yeah. You to develop a, yeah. a project, and yeah. this comes, of course, your uh, your credi credibility. No, la credibilità. Yeah, yeah. Credibility, yeah. 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 credibility. Yeah, credibility comes from like long uh, yeah. experience. Yeah, so I mean, this was uh, the first one. Uh, there were for the first project, there was no credibility for the group because it was the first project. It was uh, because they, uh, as I told uh, in the beginning, uh, Wolfgang, who started the group, who founded the group, was an art critic and was criticizing um, this uh, exhibition of this art gallery. He was artist and art critic. And they then said, OK, then come and make it better.
And so this was the start. But immediately after we finished uh, with the first project, there came uh, uh, the second invitation from Zurich, from Schettal in, in Switzerland, Zurich, because they've heard uh, of this project. And it was, it was kind of really heavily discussed then, uh, the project within, uh, um, within the art scene and also in the public, because most of the art institutions and artists um, were kind of yeah, of uh, what has this angreifen? Uh, uh, kind of attacking uh, this because they said this is not art, this is social work. And this was. Uh, How you not convince your position? Yeah. Where do you think that this is not just social work, yeah. but is art, is art. related? Yeah. I'd like to, to know yeah. your opinion as. Yeah. As a group, yeah. where do you think is the art, yeah. the art vein, the vein, vein, no? Mm -hmm. The art vein, or vessel, vessel, vessel. in your, yeah. in your, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, in your work. Yeah. So uh, actually, I think it's a, it's a kind of really traditional um, reason, uh, very very traditional. Uh, for the one hand, uh, as we said, we ref refer to already existing uh, art groups who had already uh, difficulties uh, to and to fight their art position, like the constructivists, uh, like uh, boys. Uh, they all were in the beginning. Ooh, this this has nothing got to do with the art. Yeah? Um, but you can even go uh, go very 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 back into the uh, history um, till the till the 16th, 17th century. Which is it in Italy? Uh, this is kind of the, the um, 16, 17 secolo. <laughs> um, that what we now understand as art was not the art. Like the painters and the, 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 the sculptures, they were not the artists. The artists, if you want to call them like this, were the scientists, so those who studied the seven uh, liberal arts, which was mathematics in, in, in short uh, or brief said the mathematics, uh, the astronomy, grammar, music. Music was always, has always been philosophy. All those who had, um, had a written uh, methodology, do you say methodology? All those uh, sciences and, and artists and, and sculptures were, were <laughs> kind of as they really said, dirty workers, <laughs> yeah. I mean, some of them were well paid because, uh, you know, they had the commissions, but it was not the art. And um, also the German word Kunst, as the, the, the word Ars, it means knowledge. Yeah. And you can really, it's, it's uh, we think art is, is always this, what a, what a certain group define, define? Yeah. define as art. And this is always changing, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. References. Yeah. Exactly. And how do you redefine yourself during the, the years, during the time? Uh, uh, redefine. If you have, uh, all, if you question yourself, how we have to act yeah. again and um, refresh your uh, identity. I mean, if this is uh, for you, like an issue that uh, for you is important during yeah. the time. Yeah. I mean, I, I think in the beginning, is, as Martina already mentioned, it was important that there is a group of people like art practitioners who are artists, curators, uh, people associated with the art world who are accepting this is art and it was accepted as there was uh, money coming from the arts who uh, were paying Wochenklausur, inviting Wochenklausur from art institutions uh, who are also giving, you know, this kind of sanctus, if you like, and, and, and giving us the credibility that this is art and also we were of course saying we want to have this as art, we're doing this as art projects and not as social projects. And over the time I think maybe you can say that we also feel now that we're having this, um, I mean we did now over 35 projects already, I think we did just did the 39th project in Cologne uh, and we feel like you know now, if there is also even money coming, maybe not directly from the art scene, we would say it's already credibility enough, which we, you know, um, became over the years of working, which we are still... It's 
ordinary yeah. object yes. to put in a museum. Let yeah. You, yeah. Pull, you pull yeah. Exactly. your action, your process. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, it's not it, it's not only uh, our group. There are so many artists yeah, and and groups not working exactly in the same way, but uh, like it's uh, a category, another category which is added to the to the art, and a lot of uh, artists working in 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 this, whether they work in the social or in the ecological or, or much more and more in in the science field again, which is so funny because art was science and now is connecting so strongly again uh, with a science, with a natural <laughs> science, so yeah. Yeah, so uh, this was in, in, in brief about the first uh, project uh, we did in Vienna, and as Claudia told, uh, there followed uh, a lot of other projects. The funny thing is that we nearly do never apply for a project, but it's always uh, kind of regularly we get invitations. Is there one where we have applied for? But I remember we we were asked for a for a uh, ah this was in in Hamburg, we were asked for for apply to apply for was an invited uh, competition for invited competition so yeah. they invited several artists in yeah. new and they wanted to you know have in this yeah. process so we applied because we've been invited to participate in this competition we didn't um, win. We didn't <laughs> win. <laughs> Yeah. So and the others were really kind of uh, getting invitations, f mostly through emails, or mm -hmm. when we uh, when we uh, were invited, and then we get to know some other people. And uh, it's not so that we always leave um, material structure behind, like a bus, like this mobile bus, or the in the following. Um, project in Zurich where we established a shelter for, for drug addicted uh, women um, uh, and it's not always about 11 weeks or 12 weeks we also have some r I would say the shortest we had was the one in Kivalina yeah. maybe you will talk yeah. about this this is one of the last uh, projects and so it's really different usually we say we do not really so l much like to accept really short uh, projects because this is then not so much Wochen Glasur but uh, it also um, uh, could could uh, be used to start a process so maybe you you you, mm -hmm. you will talk about this one of the last projects in Kivalina and then we we yeah I don't okay. know if you can I mean, it's not so important. <laughs> 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 it's always nice to it's have some. It looks exactly <laughs> like this. <laughs> the looks, yeah, the weather, the same around. as this. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to, to start the. I can only start the slideshow. <laughs> ah, no, now again it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Schaut, das sieht man nicht da. Ja, ich weiß nicht, warum das immer ist. Jetzt sieht man aber nur, das unten fehlt. Ja, yeah, um, I'm sorry. It's always, it's not really working. And I cannot change it if, the, if this is plugged in. Aber so kann man es auch, oder? Ja, machen wir es ja. so. Okay. Okay. So in 2012, <coughs> uh, the group got an invitation from uh, the United States, from Alaska. We've been invited by an art organization that is called uh, Alaska Design Forum. There was a, a or yeah, there was a curator at that time, which was called Michael Garachi, who was very much interested in the rural a areas of Alaska. 
um, where a lot of uh, Inuit people are still living in very close communities, very separated from the from the cities in in Alaska and and very separated from from the rest of the state. Um, he asked us uh, to um, come to a specific island uh, in the um, Arctic Circle, which is called uh, Kivalina. He uh, invited us for a period uh, of two weeks, which is really short. <laughs> Um, so we only had the chance to live there for two weeks, first of all, because uh, usually there is nothing like tourism or you usually cannot really have an access to these communities, um, except you already have built up a relationship with uh, community leaders in this area who really um, give you the chance to visit these communities. So uh, he had the possibilities to invite us and also other artists uh, to this village for a period of two weeks. Uh, as we always do within our projects, we start beforehand with the research, with an intense research. So we already was in deep conversations with the curator himself, with Alaska Design Forum, as well as from you know writing, uh, reading newspapers, searching in the internet, etc., trying to find out out as much as possible. And the uh, uh, problem with this uh, village was that they are uh, harshly affected by the climate change, so they are endangered by the melting uh, sea, uh, melting Arctic ice which um, the period of the, of the ice is uh, becoming shorter and shorter. This means that there is more and more erosion and there are approximately 400 uh, people living on this island and the island is shrinking. So it's not so much about that the uh, sea level is rising, but it's, it is more about oh sorry, uh, that the, the period of the sea ice is shrinking. So uh, there is much more erosion and there are much more waves, you know, um, so that the island is shrinking within the last 30 years. I think half of the island has been washed away uh, by the sea. Um, the community itself um, is, so that's the, that's the plane, how we got there. That here you can see. This was a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this was the beautiful summer in Kivalim. <laughs> so there it was, we haven't been there in the ice period, but it was end of August, beginning of September. So it was already starting the storms and, and the more harsh weather, but we were still in the ice free time there. The, uh, but as I said in, in the beginning, the problem is that the island is shrinking and that these people have to leave the island within the next uh, 10 years. That was estimated by a report of the Army Corps of Engineers who have been investigating there and telling. So if these people are not moving to another place within the next 10 years, then they will you know, be washed away sooner or later. Uh, but the problem is, of course, that there is uh, not really money and that uh, we found out through research that this is a massive political problem there, that there are economic interests uh, behind all these arguments they are bringing. Even we are thinking now that uh, maybe this is only also about money that they are you know, telling uh, people on this island that they have to move away within next the next 10 years, maybe to bring them more under control. And the idea of Wochenklausur was, uh, we have two weeks on site. Uh, we went there with four people, four artists. We came there, we built up, as in every other project, we built up an office on site in the community center. Um, you can see here our office. And the idea was that uh, we heard about a lot of problems the people living on this island are facing right now at their current uh, location and we feel that they also need help where th where they are right now because if they if there will be money at one day in future that this village can really move this is uh, very much um, questionable um, and so the idea of Wochenklausur was that there are around the world a lot of knowledge is produced continuously. There are universities, there are experts on various uh, on, on various fields such as water, wastewater treatment, water treatment, architecture, etc., where these people uh, in Kivalina do not necessarily have access to. So our idea was um, to bring certain groups in touch with people from Kivalina to help them with small problems and to find a solution together with people in Kivalina and to create a better situation for them. So uh, 
we used our two weeks on site to research uh, the most uh, the most uh, how do you say not dangerous but the most affecting problems they are facing right now and we found out uh, that this was for example architecture they they have uh, houses uh, that are really in catastrophic conditions there is molder inside they cannot heat it up they are like really they are so nowadays the newest houses are built so climate um um so dicht how do you say so um Ah, I cannot say it now. <laughs> that you know, the cold is not getting into the house. That they need a very complex uh, system for the air to circulate. But this is a problem because these systems are not working because there are no uh, no professionists <laughs> there who can even care about this system. Um, so it's not working, and this creates a lot of molder. And the most uh, the the biggest problem at the time we've been there was that there was no water. There is no running water system in the village so they always have to go to the water tank as you can see here to pick up the water they can only refill it during the ice free time and they have to go there and pick it up and at that time they couldn't because there was another storm who was destroying the pipe system where they usually pump from a river the water into this tank they couldn't do it so um, yeah they were just you know picking up the, the really the uh, the remaining part of the water And once again, no one, of course, felt responsible. So, um, I mean, people there were declaring emergency, but no one was really helping. And uh, our idea was uh, now to bring in experts from other parts of the world to build up partnerships with people in Kivalina and to work out solutions, for example, for these problems such as water system, wastewater treatment, uh, architecture, the houses, how they could be built. Cool. Um, yeah, toilet, wastewater, exactly. <laughs> the toilet, for example, this, uh, <laughs> is also a massive problem because they are using so-called honey buckets. Honey buckets are basically plastic buckets uh, with a plastic paper inside, which, which they are using. Um, and they have to bring, if it's full, they have to bring it by themselves to the um, landfill. This creates, here you can see one of these honey packets, a lot of them just remaining within the village because, I mean, it's not a nice work to bring it somewhere else. No one really feels responsible. They just put it out uh, in front of the door and you see a lot of waste. This is the uh, non-managed landfill. Yeah. This, these are these honey packets. There you, you find them. It is a money problem. Yeah, it's it's a money problem, but it's also a political problem. There are so many, you know, um, institutions or organizations or or um, governmental associated um, 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 organizations who should be responsible, but they are not really acting. They are not really helping. Yeah, it's a very it's a very complicated system how it all developed. Yeah. Um, Yeah, it's it's really a very complicated situation there, and the idea was that um, it it's only helping if you really bring experts who are not just dropping from top down uh, some kind of solution there, but it needs long term partnerships with people from the village who are together developing solutions which could really work on that island, which could work without uh, without the big. Uh, Big need of maintenance, for example, yeah, because you can you can bring there uh, very sophisticated systems of of water, but if there is no one who can really, you know, maintenance these systems, they are of no help. They will just you know rot there, and no one uses it. Yeah, so there is money invested from time to time. They are building like super uh, sophisticated systems there, which no one can use in the end. So. Um, The idea of Wochenglasur was to create this partnership. We managed to find, as a start, four partners for this village, uh, Architecture Without Borders, um, then uh, f uh, Forensic Architecture, which is a, which is a group um, situated at the Goldsmiths College in London, who are trying to map all these forces which are uh, connected with the island and who should be responsible to invest money so that these people could live there in a... Yeah, human way, I'd say. 
Uh, then there is another uh, artist from the United States, Catherine Ball. Uh, she wants to start to work with nutrition because uh, nutrition habits are really not very good at the island. They're uh, yeah, eating, drinking about 19 cans of, of Pepsi <laughs> every day. They, they don't drink water because water is actually more difficult to get than a can of Pepsi. So she wants to start with the young generation there, um, um, a little garden gardening project. <laughs> uh, she wants to build cold frames and houses. And um, there is a third group which is called uh, Foreign Affairs Lab, which is doing, which is dealing with water problems around the world. And they are now trying to find a better solution for the water system as well as for the wastewater treatment. And this includes also the situation with the honey buckets. They are, they are now, they've been there uh, this year already for a first camp on site because it is really important for the groups we ask to become involved that they start to do long term long-term engagements, uh, that they really build up uh, personal relationships with the people on the island, because otherwise it would not work. And so that's why they have been this summer for the first time on site. <laughs> and uh, to have a, an organizational body, which is you know, taking care about the communication between these groups, we invited to uh, invest their time in Kivalina and the people in Kivalina to create these partnerships to, to start a um, trustful relationship. There is now an organizational body, uh, which is a, a curatorial team, and they are now accompanying these projects and inviting people over and yeah, managing these long-term relationships. So and that was that was that is very important also for Wochenklaus who I think to keep in mind how much time too we have on site. In this case, it was only two weeks. So our idea, we knew also from our research that it it would not really work to be there just two weeks, you know, and maybe start uh, some small thing there that would not be of help. the The most important thing was to to start something that creates a long term relationship. Yeah, and this is very important always to have yeah. To 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 uh, create something, to to create a concept uh, that you can, you know, to 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 put your hurdle not too high but not too sl too low, so that you can still come over it. That there is a um, a difference, of course, you know, before and after a Wochenklausur project, which can be seen, uh, which the people really feel, and yeah, that's that's how we're doing. Yeah. And we are always looking on on. Or I think all of the times we're doing local specific projects. Mm. I think no, yeah, nearly, more nearly. nearly. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Nearly almost there. Yeah. And we are always focusing on, on different issues, whatever yeah. Is the is the is the problem on site. practices or uh, like uh, context responsive practices and there is this uh, huge debate about how do you uh, evaluate the impact of what we are doing with the sort of practices so I, I really appreciate the, like, uh, the spontaneousness <laughs> in, uh, in the way you say we, we really can see I mean uh, it's not uh, just about uh, how do you uh, quantify the, the impact uh, sometimes you just can see and uh, Maybe you just can perceive it from people having more trust uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, especially in this project, for example, it was really, really nice to see that there was now a camp too, if you like, you know, we've been there for two weeks and now there are these groups we asked to be involved, to be there on site and they started now. And you, they told, because we met with them after they've been there, of course, and uh, the interesting thing in the beginning, during the first two weeks, the, the, the people on site, the community on site was still very, you know, in distant. They, they felt like they w there have been people before on our island, they promised us something and then they, n they never showed up again. And we heard when we met the groups this time that they really started to trust in that. Yeah, they were really happy and they said it is the first time in, in our history that architects ever stepped on our island. So the 
entire infrastructure, building infrastructure they have there was built by architects who have never been in the Arctic Circle. Yeah, yeah. And now for the first time they, they met architects there who really, you know, visited them. And so this is already, you know, as you said, uh, there is a difference now yeah. happening. Yeah, that would be great what you are done in two weeks. Just uh, being uh, well, having this short time, but uh, still uh, thinking uh, uh, that uh, you can initiate something that can uh, work uh, mm -hmm. even without you. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily dependent uh, on your presence yeah. uh, and uh, on your uh, uh, reactivity mm -hmm. there, but you initiate something Exactly, yeah. I mean, uh, this is uh, one of our principles is uh, that uh, we want to start uh, long-term projects that we see as the starter. I mean, in some cases it's um, because of the, uh, the uh, invitation uh, goes over s more weeks. It's we are happy when we when it's already started, like the pass or the shelter, while while we are on site. But uh, as uh, it's it's a fact that the invitation duration is getting uh, shorter and shorter as the institutions to really not have as much money as they as they had 20 years before, and we get the money for for of course for the for the trip for the for the journey. How do you say for the for the um, right. for, for for the accommodation and for the for the uh, flights or also and the travel and then uh, of course. Uh, this is uh, more expensive, <laughs> the accommodation, if we are longer on site. And then, of course, uh, there is always a fee for the artists uh, in the group, in the class group. Um, and it was was easier or easier for the institutions 20 years ago to invite us for, for 12 weeks uh, or so. And it's getting shorter and shorter. And so we have to really to uh, rethink also what's the result of our projects because if you stay for three weeks or even this is really the shortest the two weeks it can't be the same project uh, or the same same result uh, we can't leave the same structure behind or whatever when we are three instead of 12 weeks on site and it's uh, another thing is that also it was, I, I can't really say why, uh, but it was really easier 20 years ago to get the artists uh, for 12 weeks um, to agree, yes, okay, we, we are um, getting involved for 12 weeks and don't stop with the other uh, uh, project than it's now. Uh, you re it's really hard to get artists uh, who say, okay, 12 weeks is no problem for me. This is really getting hard, even five weeks, yeah. It's really harder, 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 yeah. But also the, no, the it's university it's, uh, it really changed and yeah. you feel that because uh, yeah. like 10 years ago, for example, it was still okay for students, you know, to take off like now I'm doing three months something else and this uh, even, you know, is good yeah. for my education. Nowadays of it's so curriculum. strict, yeah? yeah. They have a curriculum. If they miss something, they need a year longer, which is a drama yeah. yeah they don't want to, m to 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 lose time they just want to you know quickly quickly yeah. pushing through the university yeah. yeah you know as quickly as possible getting a cer certificate and not you know uh, if i'm missing now this seminar and this semester yeah. i might have only the chance to do it again in four years or whatever yeah. so it's not that easy anymore yeah. yeah it would be easier to during the summer holidays but this is not the perfect period for project because so many people are on on holidays you need to get involved into the project if it's universities authorities you know we are on holidays yeah. so this is uh, not as easy as it was really 20 years ago or even 10 years ago yeah and and also this uh, i don't know if you already mentioned but this contact to organizations and 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 experts in specific fields is very important for us as well yeah. so we're making a lot of meetings with institutions uh, or organizations or ngos or or experts who are you know really know uh, what they are talking about and can give us some background information. So this research and this meeting of people and getting in touch with with real experts is very important for us. You know, it's not mm. like we are just sitting somewhere and creating ideas uh, without having like this backup of, of an intense research. Mm. 
before. And I think that's also, you know, we can only be successful with the Wochen Klausur project if we do something that someone maybe wants to take over at the end, yeah, because yeah. Uh, otherwise no one would, would, you know, agree to, to, Caritas would have never agreed to take over something that is not really well organized and that uh, would not really work for them, yeah. So this, this context and this creation of partnerships and this communication and this getting in touch with people, that's really very, very important for us. So that's, yeah, making meetings, meeting people, that's really a big part of, of our work and research also through the internet reading and, yeah, and meeting people and, yeah, also, also concerned people in case of yeah. homeless, for example, or... <laughs> now it's time some for some music. <laughs> <laughs> some uh, some, some questions, questions, maybe? Or maybe, or maybe we make a, a short break and then we can... Maybe it would be also nice to make like a dialogue and maybe yeah. to, to, to have, uh, yeah, that you introduce yourself yeah. as well and tell yeah. a little bit about your work. This would be or your incredible. Or your approach to, to socially yeah. engaged art practice. Mm -hmm. also, so we are really eager also to, to uh, listen to what others think about and uh, or uh, have experienced mm -hmm. or so would be What great. you think is yeah. good, what you think is not so good maybe. Mm. 